Have you ever felt that you're running around in circles in your career or your business and you're meeting the same problems all the time? The same problems keep coming up for you. Well, you're not alone. I spent nearly three years chasing shiny tech solutions in real estate only to realize that I'd completely missed the point. I ran my own business for eight years. I've been involved in real estate for 20 years and I'm starting a new journey on something totally different for me and it is a bit of a scary prospect but I'm starting all over again at nearly 41 and I'm moving into prop tech as a co-founder to a startup. This is a new challenge for me and it can be a little bit scary at times. Before this startup I was sidetracked by technology that seemed it would solve a lot of problems within real estate and that was my big mistake. I focused on the actual solutions rather than looking at the problems at hand. If you have a problem or you see a problem, you can bitch and moan about it. You can let it consume your life. Or you can say it's outside my control and just completely forget about it. Or there's a third option. You can dive right in and see if you can fix the problem. Like many, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, I sometimes get excited about the proposal of a new solution or a new product or new tech that promises to solve a problem or solve everything. And sometimes I have been guilty of focusing on the solutions and the products rather than the actual problem at hand. And it's probably bad of me to be focusing on solutions so much because I generally think I'm a good problem solver. And early in my career, I studied a lot about root cause problem solving or root cause analysis, which basically is a process of discovering the root causes of problems in order to identify appropriate solutions. In recent years, I did forget about root cause problem solving. I can perhaps blame this a little bit on COVID in terms of how it's changed, how we work a little bit, but I started to focus on solutions rather than focusing on problems and I perhaps wasted two to three years. Three years ago, I was fully immersed in the promise of real estate tokenization. Some people might actually remember me posting a little bit about it, but it seemed like the silver bullet that could solve issues like illiquidity and slow sales processes. And I spent an awful lot of time thinking about the potential of the tech rather than actually focusing on the fundamentals of the problems that it was meant to solve and i didn't actually really consider who needed those problems to be solved and what was the real impact of actually solving those problems using this technology now a few years on i've taken a lot of learnings from that experience i still think it is great technology but within this new startup which is called PropGen. I have returned to my roots in terms of problem solving and root cause analysis. And we plastered, I think probably I have some of them here, but we've plastered post-its all over the office in different colors. Actually, some of them just saying focus on the problem, some of them actually outlining some of the problems that we have. But we've plastered the new office so the whole PropGen team can focus on the problem all the time. And our team is dedicated to understanding the challenges that are within the real estate market before actually jumping into the solutions. At PropGen, we're looking at three problems first. There's going to be loads of problems we want to solve, but we've narrowed it down to three problems first because we think it touches on nearly every stakeholder within the market, within the buying and selling process. We're looking at reducing the cost of listing or advertising properties. We're looking at improving the communication between buyers, renters, and agents. And we also want to address the high rate of collapse sales after going sale agreed. These are just a few of the problems we've identified, but we are hoping we have identified loads and these are the first three we're gonna focus on first. By focusing on those first, we're actually able to solve lots of problems. Perhaps you can take some learnings from this, but by using root cause analysis, we were able to systematically approach and identify underlining causes of the problems within the real estate market. And this is essential for the environment that we're in because we need to solve those problems because it is critical for the success of the business that we actually solve those problems. The goal of root cause analysis is not just to solve a problem temporarily, but it is to discover the root cause of that problem and then implement strategies 
and solutions that prevent that problem happening again in the future. The process typically does involve several steps. You have to define the problem clearly, first off. You have to collect relevant data about the problem, and then you have to identify the conditions that allow the problem to keep occurring. Finding the root cause of the problem and then implementing the solutions by addressing those causes. And that's fundamentally what we're trying to do at PropGen. Thanks to invaluable feedback we got from buyers, sellers, and most importantly, agents, we were able to identify a series of pressing issues within the real estate industry. These range from agents not responding to emails, the lack of transparency and trust within the bidding process, properties needing surveys before they went to the market, and the high cost of actually listing properties on property portals. Additionally, we got feedback in terms of the frustration of collapsed sales, the shortage of properties, the limited search options within portals, and also, and a lot of people had issues with the long time delays of the legal process in terms of closing sales out. These problems stemmed from multiple different root causes which we were able to pinpoint, but we were able to cluster some of them together as well, including no joined up communication systems, outdated legal systems, a refundable deposit which is causing complications within the transactions, lack of due diligence before bidding and a lack of a comprehensive system that actually brings people from the early search stage all the way through to completion. At PropGen we're not just listing these problems, we're actively trying to address them by going back to basics and we've added a question to the process of focusing on the problem. If you were to design a system Forgetting everything that's in place at the moment, what would you build now using the current technology and systems we have? This method not only helps us and perhaps helps you not only just understand the issues at hand or the problems at hand, but also to implement better, more effective long-term solutions. For example, we're looking at AI to improve communication channels, the property transaction, and develop a platform that is seamless and basically supports buyers, sellers and agents from start to finish. Understanding the real root of problems for buyers, sellers and agents allows us to focus on better solutions. If you are interested in how we're tackling these problems and challenges within the real estate industry, make sure you do give this channel a subscribe, hit the like button and share your thoughts and comments and your experience of buying and selling in the comments below. Your feedback is actually crucial to us in terms of how we're going to grow and improve. Remember the first steps of solving any problem is to recognize it and to understand it. As always, thanks for watching.